Hi everyone, in this video we are going to install Zorin OS for my old laptop. So go to this link and follow these steps. Choose and download from the server which works best for you. Currently you can choose a version 15, 16 or 17 and edition light, core or education. I am going to install Zorin 15.3 Lite. Once you're done downloading, we need to make our flash drive bootable. So just connect it. And I'm going to show you the manual way to do this in this video. But you can also use a tool like Rufus. Hit Windows plus R and type CMD to open up command prompt. Type this part, hit enter and it will ask for admin permissions, click yes. Now in this new window type the command list disk. It will show you all the disks or storage devices on your system. We have to select our USB drive, for me that's disk 2. So I'm going to select it by entering this command. Next just follow along and enter these commands. Now we have to format the drive, for you this should work but for me I had to format to FAT32. If it isn't bootable try formatting to FAT32 like this. Now just enter the command active and exit CMD. Now we just have to copy the files from the ISO file to the USB drive. So just open or mount the ISO file and copy all files to your drive like I have already done here. This is my old laptop, the Asus E402SA. I'm gonna plug the USB drive and power on. Here select the try or install option and let it boot. Okay, so this is Zorin and we can check it out here before actually installing it. So do that and then click here on install Zorin. Here select your language and continue. Just hit continue here again. Now here we are going to create a custom partition for Zorin, so select the something else option. Here we have our disks and partitions. I have a 500 GB HDD and a single partition in that. So I'm gonna shrink this and create a new one. Okay now we have this free space so select that and click here to make a partition 
and make sure you make sure to select root as mouth point as I've shown afterwards. Now just select the partition we created and click on install now. Next just select your time zone and username and password and then continue. Okay guys we are done installing Zorin, now let's talk about what I think about it after using it. This laptop has 2GB RAM and an Intel dual core processor so I only use it for browsing the web, watching something and backup. So I thought let's go for something light and see if it's better and yes it is. Uh, it's faster now, nothing too crazy but definitely working smoother. And I've seen significant increase in the battery performance, like it's really better than what it was on Windows. And of course it looks super clean and I love the appearance, themes and customizations, even the wallpapers. Now about some issues, it just crashes sometimes for no reason, like it just hangs and then I have to hold the power button until it powers off and restart. But I think that will be fixed after I install some updates. And the other thing is that this is a Linux based OS so new users will have to get used to it but that's not a big deal if you really want to learn and explore. Also another issue I faced was that my USB Wi-Fi adapter is not supported and the, and the screen gets locked even with the video playing in full screen if it's idle. So I had to install a software called Caffeine to prevent that but overall I love it and I'm keeping it the Zoran OS. So thanks for watching. Hope this video helps.